Good morning, Christine. I'm just adjusting my volume here and making sure that my hands are in view. Oh, good morning, Carol. Nice of you to join me this morning. I'm glad everybody saw my announcement. I kind of forgot that it was Monday today. Um, the weekend went so fast, and um, I didn't do this last Monday. I thought I'd take a break for family day. And uh, so I kind of got out of my, um, you know, my routine. But I'm back today. And um, I decided for today's card sketch, I wanted to do a masculine themed card, which I haven't done for quite a while. So um, I'm really thrilled with um, the new papers. Um, our new join offer um, with Stampin' Up, if you join Stampin' Up, you actually get five packs of free paper. So they are all of our color families, and they're six by six paper packs. So these are the neutral colors, and you get four sheets of each. So you get a load of designer series paper when you join Stampin' Up. Now this joint offer is running out by the end of this week, um, but that is the joint offer. And these are all of the... Um, um, these are the new papers that will be featured in the new um, annual catalog, which will be released um, in May. So our whole calendaring um, system has changed in that they've moved things up a month. So normally we get a new annual catalog June 1st. This year it's going to be for May 1st. Okay, so, um, and celebration ends this week, so if you are still looking to get some free products, you have up until the 28th of February to get some free products. It's, I think, been one of the most successful celebration events because they did such a spe spectacular job at coordinating their products with products in the annual catalog and the mini catalog, and the papers have been just, you know, fantastic. So there you go. So I've pulled out Early Espresso. This is our brown color for my card base here. I haven't done much cutting yet, so I'll be cutting online. And I pulled out the Darling Donkeys. This was a free item in celebration, and I wanted to use this cute little donkey here. This has been an extremely popular set. Um, so I'm going to use this cute little donkey somewhere on the card, probably in this circle part so let's take a look at our sketch we've got a card base five and a half by eight and a half folded in half that's what I've done with the early espresso and then it looks like it has a five and a quarter by four standard layer on top so I think I'm going to do this plaid so these papers are all double-sided so you get four patterns They're really cool so I think I'm going to cut this for um by five and a half to go on and it's a landscape card as you can see here so I'm going to put that on there like that <coughs> excuse me then there's another strip here that goes across and so um, this could be a plain piece of cardstock um, and you could bring in another color here, and it's two by five and a quarter, but I thought I would bring in yet another pattern and put this across here like this. And then we have a strip of paper here. This could be a ribbon, um, or it could be a strip of paper. Remember, think about embossing some of these layers. Then we've got a three by three square, and then we've got this circle here. So. Now that I think about this three by three, I'm going to put my donkey in there and then I'm going to put a greeting on a circle and it, this greeting comes from the same stamp set called Hey There Friend. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to bring in very vanilla instead of whisper white with this um, early espresso. So I'm just digging in my drawer here beside me because I think I have some. I think I have some very vanilla here. Yeah, here's some very vanilla. 
So I'm going to cut this three by three. So let me just bring in my trimmer and start doing some trimming. So how has everybody been? Good morning, Barbara. I saw you on Sue's late night crafting last night. I just caught the tail end of it. Um, okay, so this piece I want to cut to four by five and a quarter. And how many of you are crafting with me this morning? Or are you just watching? Four by five and a quarter. All right, so this is going to be my first layer on here, like that, okay? And then, oh, this little strip I could use um, for that other little strip that's on there, maybe. Okay, let's see what we're going to do now. All right, so this strip here is two by five and a quarter, so let's do that. And I want it to go five and a quarter... Um, so I want two inches. I have to watch my orientation of my design here. So two inches by five and a quarter, five and a quarter. There we go. Then I need my little three by three piece. So here's my three by three. Did you know we have little envelopes for three by three cards, just so that you're aware. They make great little gift cards. All right, so we can go ahead and, so this is gonna look like this. I have a stamp set, chocolate and coffee themed stamp set that is in our mini catalog and I haven't used it yet but boy this reminds me of chocolate and coffee and this is going to go on here and I'm going to stamp my my donkey on here so let's get the donkey stamped and then colored and I'm going to use my blends so Barbara you're watching with a cup of coffee good oops Carol, you're crafting. Christine, you're also enjoying a cup of coffee. It's nice just to sit back and relax with a cup of coffee. I rarely just sit and drink a cup of coffee. I'm always doing something and then my, my coffee ends up in the microwave about four or five times. Or it could be left over there at the end of the day when my husband comes home and finds it in the microwave. I'm the worst coffee drinker for drinking the whole thing hot. So you guys go ahead and do that and enjoy it. Tell me what it feels like to just sit back and finish your coffee. The only time I get to finish a coffee if I, if I go for coffee with a friend. So tomorrow I'm actually going to meet a friend and we're going to sit outside and have coffee. So I'll probably finish it there. Okay, there's my little donkey. I'm going to set him aside just to make sure he's dry before I use my blends so I can start gluing um how many of you have to make some cards for birthdays anybody have some upcoming birthdays they need to make cards for I am sending birthday cards to everybody in our Stampin' Up! family on Vancouver Island. I can't even tell you how many that is, but it's a lot, and I've been doing really well so far. We have a birthday list, and um, I've done birthdays for January and February. I mean, I, may, I have so many cards, I need to start um, sending more cards. So this was a great opportunity to do that. So I've been sending birthday cards to all of my fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrators on Vancouver Island. And if I wanted to, we have a global birthday list. 
for demonstrators across the world. So I could also send to the global people, but that's a lot of people. So I thought I would send a birthday card to everybody who had a birthday on the 14th of any month, because my birthday is January 14th. So I thought, well, maybe I could just send a card to people who have a birthday on the 14th of that month, which reminds me, I better go look at that list. Oops, I stuck that down too quickly. I need to hover more before I commit. So here we go. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to put this one across here like this. Am I missing anything? No, so far so good. Actually, it'd be kind of fun to emboss this. I like a bit of texture on here, so maybe I should run this through an embossing folder. Um, yeah, let me go run this through a subtle embossing folder. I'll be right back. Let me go add a bit of texture. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a kind of a tweedy texture. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's not showing my feedback yet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think you can see that in the camera, how it added a bit of texture. It's fun to add some texture. So now I'm just going to use some Tombow glue to glue that on. Hey, Carol, how are your roses doing? Scott gave you roses for Valentine's Day, or was it for your birthday? I think it might have been for your birthday. Phil gave me a dozen roses for Valentine's Day, and they're still looking beautiful, red and pink roses. Yes, these are great papers. Stampin' Up! has, to me, the best papers. All right, so let's start coloring our little donkey. I might want to make him in some brown tones. So we have this, uh, let's see, gray granite. This is a great color. It's got a bit of brownie tone in it. And of course we have crumb cake. So I might add a bit of crumb cake. So let's start with crumb cake. I love coloring little creatures little animals. We have a lot in our catalog. As a matter of fact, um, I have a friend who had back surgery and she's on the men. So check this out. We have this stamp set. I pulled it out. Look at this stamp set. This is in our annual catalog. It's called Back on Your Feet. And it's this like a turtle on its back. And I just love this one because I love this hope you're back on your feet soon hope things get better soon and this is not good for the giraffe isn't that cute um yeah and look at the sloth with the little bandage on his arm cute so I'm going to make her this turtle make a card with that little turtle today um whoops I took the dark back the light again that's okay because you need a bit of shading under his neck anyway we also have a really cute goat set too and I love it because there's a greeting in there I think it's a birthday greeting for an old goat so cute
Look how adorable he is. Now I'm going to pull in the dark and just do a little bit of shading on him. I'll make his tail a little bit darker. There we go. And then I like to blend it out. So I go, I start with light, go to my dark for my shading, and then I pull in the light again and just blend it out a little bit. See how the neck got blended out beautifully. These blends have certainly helped to uh, give you some artistry. Let's get the dark gray for his hooves. And certainly the images with the little shading bits in the drawing help you. I can't draw worth. Yeah, I remember trying to um, do watercoloring. I love the flow of the water and watercoloring, but I couldn't draw. So, um, that's why I went into rubber stamping. I thought, well, if I can stamp an image and then I can do all my own coloring. People have been taking these little donkeys and, um, they've been making them any color like purple donkeys and pink donkeys for a whimsical look which is such a cute idea things don't always have to look realistic there we go isn't he cute you can't help but smile now, I should give him some grounding here, so I'm just going to use, again, maybe I'll bring in my smoky slate, and your character should always be sort of sitting, they should be what they call grounded, so you just have to scribble a little bit of color on there, okay? Just to give him something to sit on. Otherwise, he looks like he's floating in the air. All right, let's put those markers to the side now. All right, so he's going to go on here like that. All right, now, um, really, this could have been smaller than 3x3, three three, I think. It looks awfully big on there, but let's just carry on and see how we make out. Now, this has got yet another pattern. I could do another pattern. That's what I love about these um, papers is that you get so many designs and you just flip them around and uh, you get lots of results. Um, it's looking really dark though, don't you think? It's really dark. Really dark. I might pull in a different color here. So this is, um, that color is Sahara Sand. Let me pull in, let's see. I could pull in a bit of the gray, but I want a different texture or a different pattern. I don't know. Well, let's just cut a strip of this off and see. You let me know what you think. I could do ribbon too. Do I have any ribbon? Let me think. Um, 
Oh, I just had a thought. I have this, this is really cool ribbon. Of course, I've already stuck that down to the card, so I can't wrap any ribbon around. This is a cool ribbon, too. All right. Let me know what you think, you guys. I don't think I like that. Okay, now, so I've got some um, ribbon here, so I could just put a piece on here like that somehow. Okay, or I can do this. I love this. We I don't think we sell this one anymore. But I've got this here. So let me know what you think. Um Any opinions, ladies? Oh, Lynn is here. Hi, Lynn. What else have you guys saying here? Let me just scroll back. Christine, you like the burlap? With this is the um, this is the jute ribbon. So which one do you mean, the jute or the what is this called? Oh, it doesn't have a label on it. Or the ivory color, jute or ivory? And you like the ribbon idea, Barbara? Yeah, I think I'm going. I think this is too dark. So burlap, this is jute. The darker color Carol is saying. I think this is the one you meant as well, Christine. Did I call it burlap originally? I might have. Whoa! Everything's falling on the floor now. What's great about this um, is that you can tear these apart as well and get little strings. So maybe I'll just put a piece like that. No, I called it that. My bad. I do mean the jute. Okay, perfect. Um, I almost do one of each. I don't know now. Okay, let me um, let me cut this. And then this is going to go on here like this. Now, to do the ribbon, the best way to do ribbon is to use tear and tape. So I'm just going to put, actually, I'm just going to put a piece of tear and tape along here. Don't need a lot. And then take it off with my little pokey tool here. I can stick that jute on there, a ribbon. Okay, so then we're going to have this little guy here. I might cut him down. Don't know about him. Okay, let's do this Hey There Friend. So I need a bigger piece of um, my Very Vanilla. And maybe we'll do this in, in uh, Early Espresso ink. There we go. Um, let's see, let's pull out, I'm gonna pull out some of my, um, let's see, this three quarter fit, I think this is too, oh, that's way too small. What am I thinking? Yes, way too small. That was a three quarter inch. Let's do a one inch, that fit. Yes, a one inch is perfect. 
one inch punch and then I have a one and three eighths inch punch so I could put a backing on there so I might let me go grab let me go grab some early espresso cardstock <coughs> let me grab a scrap out of here and we'll cut punch a circle from that I think I'm going to mount this on a dimensional like so Okay, I think it's coming along. Um, I really want to cut this down a bit. I might frame this too. Um, okay, have I got all my elements on here? I do have all my elements. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So please make a card and post it so we can see what you've done. Yeah, I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to cut this down and then I'm going to put a backing on it. So I'm going to cut this down by quarter of an inch. Or actually, maybe, oh dear, that didn't cut through. Quarter of an inch. A little bit off the top. A little bit off the bottom. that's better um, now I'm gonna see I'm gonna pull out some of my square frames and of course he's not really square but I have another idea I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to go off angle again for some interest, okay? And I might do this in this. Um, I'm going to pull in some smoky slate. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's some smoky slate. And I might just skew it. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I think Oh, Barbara, you meant sponge around the edges. Yeah, I could do that too. Actually, good idea. Let's pop that out a bit more on the edges. So I'll pull out my sponges and I'm going to sponge it in um, maybe smoky slate again. So let's pull down my ink pad.
Let's get these out of the way and this out of the way. And let's do... Gosh, I remember when I first started stamping. Oh my God, sponging was... Everybody sponged things. I think it was in the days before we had... Um, before we had our dies, framing dies, and we sponged a lot. But it's still, when I remember to do it, I, you know, I never say, oh, that was a mistake. I always love sponging. And you can go as deep into the card. All depends on how you hold your sponge. You can just grab the edge or you can go into the cardstock a little bit more to add some more depth and dimension. Ah, oh, good idea. Good idea. That was good. I like that. Okay, so let's put this together. I want him to sit straight. So let's just stick a bit of glue on the back of this guy. And we'll skew him a bit. And then we'll put him on the card. Now i got to fit my Hey There friend somewhere. So let's put him like that. And then, where's the sketch? This is on the side here. I could put it right like that. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. How are you guys doing? Carol sponges a lot. Yes, it's great. Okay, so let's add this right here. So there you go. There's our card today. Thank you so much for your help, ladies. That's why it's kind of fun to craft together so that we can share ideas. That I really love um, the Zoom things that I attend because we can work and then we everybody holds up what they're doing to the camera unless you you know do your own camera mount and you can see what people are doing oh hi joan <laughs> yes i'll see you at 11 perfect i'll have your paper pumpkin kit ready for you okay there you go ladies there's the little card today and so I've posted the sketch, so you have all your measurements. So please make something and post it back in a comment. And um, I'll have something for you uh, next Monday. You're welcome, Carol. I know he is a very sweet donkey. I love him. Did you see the other donkeys in the set? Did I show you the stamp set? If I can find it here somewhere. Here, I love this one with the rose. Isn't that sweet? And this one kicking up his heels. So excited about somebody's birthday or some celebration. So cute. Anyway, there you go, ladies. So remember, if you're purchasing um, and you want to take advantage of pre fr free products, celebration ends the end of the week. You can call me to place an order or you can go online and place an order with me. And um, that would be fantastic. So um, have a good week, everyone. And we'll see you next Monday morning at 10 a.m. Thanks, ladies. Bye.